I heard about RDS um, through my home church. I um, grew up going to New Life Covenant out of Chicago. I kind of had an idea of what Masters was just because Chicago Masters is ran outside of New Life Covenant in Chicago. I always kept Masters Commission as an option in my brain if college just didn't work out. And it was my junior year of high school. I took my ACT and my friends were like, why aren't you freaking out about college? Like, this is so stressful. And I remember telling one of my best friends, I was like, no, I'm going to ministry school in North Carolina. And I walked away to go to class and I was like, where did that come from? Um, so I started deep diving into different ministry schools because I knew about MCUSA at the time when it was a thing and MCIN and stuff. And um, I actually applied for two other programs and never heard back. So I thought I heard the Lord wrong. So I started looking back into school and it was a couple of weeks before my high school graduation. Um, the Chicago master's director at the time um, came up to me and he was like, hey, I heard that you were wanting to go to um, like a discipleship program in North Carolina. I was like, yeah, I applied for two, but I never heard back. And he was like, well, actually there's this smaller one that fairly recently started up. The um, people that run it are really awesome, solid people. I brought you something and it was an RDS packet. Um, and so I hadn't seen RDS pop up when I was looking things up. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll fill out the application and in the shuffle of us trying to move to Florida and living in my older sister's apartment with like seven other people, couldn't find the application. Um, we moved to Florida and we were living in a rental house and I was going through things and I found the application. And I was like, you know what? I never submitted this, so I'm just gonna send it. He called me a couple weeks later. We did a full interview and then we did a FaceTime interview as our like face-to-face. -face. They were like, oh, well, we'll pray about it and we'll let you know by Friday. And that was like Monday. And on Wednesday night, they called and they were like, we're, we've decided to go ahead and accept you into the program. Um, it starts in like two weeks. Move-in day for my first year was the first time had I had ever been in the state of North Carolina. Um, I didn't even know that the church's name was The Refuge. I didn't know who Pastor Jay was. My parents drove me in on a Thursday. They stayed to commission Sunday, and then Sunday night they left. I remember like a week later calling my mom, and I was just like, I can't, I miss you guys so much. And I ended up sticking it out. And at the end of my first year, I remember we were driving back to Florida. Um, and I looked at my parents and I was like, you guys literally left me with strangers and I couldn't thank you enough for it. <laughs> I never like envisioned anything outside of Chicago. So it really was the Lord when he brought me here because I would have laughed at you in your face if you were like, you know, my junior year of high school, like you're gonna live in North Carolina and like, two years or you're gonna end up moving everything and taking a full-time position in ministry. And I feel like the Lord stretched and pulled me um, in the best and hardest ways, um, just in growing and processing things and learning how to function as a leader, just because I've never up until RDS viewed myself as a leader. I always say I only promised God one year and he took three and some. Um, because it was just such an obvious yes to those other two years and then even a yes to the position that I'm in now. It's coming up on about eight years because I did all three years of RDS, um, which is a God thing in itself, and then said yes to a full-time position. And on July 1st, it'll be five years that I've been on staff. People have this expectation that like, if the Lord's calling you to something, then it's instantaneously gonna happen. Like the, the light bulb's just gonna automatically turn on and it's learning to be patient and stick things out a lot. Like knowing that like the Lord hasn't brought you this far just to, you know, see you so sad or see you feel like you're not enough and stuff. And it's in those moments of seeking him even more when you don't feel like, you don't feel his presence and you don't feel like 
you made the right decision that he speaks to you even more. So even in the midst of that, like in finding community and stuff, it's like a lot of people, I think, just want people to come to them. And it's like, no, you have to also partner with the Lord and put yourself out there in order to build community. Thank you.